hey everyone welcome to v tutorial i am mahavir in today's video i will show you how you can automatically consolidate the sales data from different sheets in the google sheets imagine you are working with the sales data of different regions like north south east and west your task is to bring or consolidate the sales data automatically whenever someone update this data the data must be updated here automatically and then you have to create a pivot table in which you want to see the sum of sales data branch wise product wise and the month wise and this complete scenario must be dynamic it means whenever someone update the data over here this will automatically update manually copy paste and consolidate the data is very tedious task don't worry google has amazing feature by using it you can consolidate the data in few clicks before going ahead if you are new to my channel please subscribe so you will not miss such wonderful video in future let's get started and jump into the video so we have one sheet the second one was open separately in separate tab the file name is consolidate and here i have sheets having the sales data north south east and west and i have given the access to this sheet to the different person who has to update the sales data regularly my task is to consolidate this data automatically so i am going to explain step by step guide first i will remove my all functions used in this sheet now let's start from the scratch the first condition ensure we have same headers of all regional sheets such as north south east and west all must have the same headers in this case we have branch month product quantity and the month the header must be same this is the first condition now we will use our function called query in which we need to enter the data range and the select query so there are three arguments we have to enter i will explain first of all i will start by typing my function query select and press tab and then we need to give the reference of the sheets and the range of the data we want to consolidate so for this first i will go to the north sheet but before that as we are working with the data so we have to start with the curly brackets and now we can manually type the path or we can do it on the screen as well so i am going to select my north sheet and this time i am going to select a2 i am pressing shift control right arrow key to select the complete row with the data then shift control down arrow key to select the all field data in this table and i am going to remove 11 because i want to update the future updates in this table in my consolidated sheet so if i select any a fixed cell range so future updates in the next rows will not update automatically so we have to remove the number in this case it is a22 e only now we need to bring the data from other sheets as well so for making it easy i want to copy of this range because the range would be same and the sheet name would be different so now i am going to type manually all the names of the sheets in which we have the data in this case it is south east and west so after that we have to enter semicolon and then paste the data and manually click on north and we can use the backspace to remove north and we have to type south and again i am going end of this function semicolon paste and remove north the next one is east semicolon paste and then west make sure you enter the correct spell or you can use the manual browsing as we did in the earlier for the north region sales now i am going to close my curly brackets then comma now we have to enter the query give some space and make sure you use the same sentence as i am going to enter over here it must be in the caps so i am going to use select case but before that we have to enter double quotation mark select then asterisk sign where and i am going to enter my query col1 is not null 
closing quotation mark and comma let, before going ahead let me explain my query i select the query select to select all the data from column one which is not empty it means i want to bring all the data from the sheets to the range we have given in the previous argument and the row should not be blank all the field data will be bring here so now we have to give header part which is optional but in this case i am going to use zero it means i do not want any header because we have already entered our header in consolidated sheet now i am going to close this function and press enter and you can see the magic all the data is coming over here now i will put side by side both the sheets and first of all i am going to enter in consolidate i open this google sheet in two tabs you can see the name consolidate and consolidate for give you the live demo for updation so this is consolidate sheet now i am going to update the data in the south so i am going to copy and paste and i am going to change the month as well you can see all the data has been updated in the consolidate sheet automatically and if i enter any data over here that would also update you can see now my task is to create the sales data mis report same like this that we can do in single click select any cell of this consolidated data now come to the insert tab select the pivot table and select the new sheet make sure you change this range from a1 to e only as i want to bring the future updates of the data if you use e31 only so the future updates will come in the next rows which is not part of this range that is why i removed 31 so i need e only now i'm going to click on create this is the magic of using the google sheet it will suggest you what kind of information you want so i'm going to select this option sum of amount of each branch product by month let's see yes all data is coming but i'm also getting the blank rows so for this we need to use filter option click on this option and select any branch or anything and select this option and untick the blank and click ok now we are not getting any blank data so this is how we can use the google sheets amazing query function to consolidate the data thanks for watching if you have any query or special scenario i will try my best to create the video on this particular scenario or your problem thank you thank you once again